Welcome back to Black News Tonight. Our next guest continues to live up to his name even years after dropping the major R&B hit, Why I Love You. Y'all know. This is why I love you. Ooh, this is why I love you. Grammy-nominated pop soul singer, songwriter, major is celebrating the five-year anniversary of his smash single, an unrivaled wedding anthem. I can't tell you how many times I've heard this song at a wedding. And now we got the brother right here in the flesh, here to talk about not just the success of this major song, but also everything else that's going on with him. The Houston, Texas native is in the building. Sir, good to see you again. Listen, bro, I'm honored to be here. You should insert uh, applause track. Brother, I salute everything beautiful and what you're doing, what you uh. continue to do is beautiful, man. We celebrate you just as well. Oh, man, thank you, my brother. That means a lot, man. Talk to me about this song, man. Your song has become the soundtrack to black love ever since it hit the airwaves in 2016. Did you expect that to happen? Brother, I prayed it would. I prayed it would. <laughs> she was like, it, this, this grind <laughs> as an artist is, is, is a lot, you know? And so to finally have my, my debut song be the one that literally sets the bar so high. Stevie Wonder said, I believe this would be the wedding love song for years to come. And I swear him and my stepdad who transitioned to heaven must have put a little little favor on that from heaven. Uh, yo, it's, it's, it's still living. Man, it's living and it's living strong, bro. And and the song isn't just at anybody's wedding. It was at your own wedding. What? How important and powerful was that weird to have, like, the song at your own wedding last summer? Okay, it was a little weird, I, I'll, I'll admit, because at the end of the day, I didn't want my, my wife, uh, then fiancé, to feel pressured into having me sing at this. And I've sang for quite a few people's weddings, you know, uh, celebs and everyday people, but uh, she said, you have to have it in my wedding. You have to have it in our wedding. And so I, you know, put a little customization on it and had uh, Harmony <laughs> Samuels at his studio, my producer that produced it, you know, add a little sprinkle. I said her name. I said, Michelle, I found love and I found it in you. Yeah, baby. You know, so it, it was I. Woo. I, I, I like how you did that. That was smooth, man. And you had it right the first time. It was her wedding. Not, you was there. You you was invited. You had VIP status. <laughs> but it was definitely hers, man. Yo, what was it like to be honored by Houston Mayor uh, Sylvester Turner? They officially proclaimed today Major Why I Love You Day. I mean, you, I mean, that, I can't imagine an honor that big in my own city. Bruh, it, it, you know, we've, we've heard biblically when they say uh, a prophet is not welcomed in his own home. To get this love from my hometown means so much. It's, it's officially major why I love you day. I was claiming it, but my guy literally made it official. So shout out to Houston's own black Mayor Sylvester Turner, who also yes, happens sir. to be a, 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 an alpha, you know, I, I understand that you're a kappa and there's room for everybody, uh, you know, but uh, 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 <laughs> yeah. That explains the honor. It was some home cooking. Here, I thought it was because you had made one of the great songs of the 21st century, which you did. I didn't know it was some well, alpha bro, inside baseball. See, kappas win on merit. Y'all got to do the inside, the inside cheating thing. <laughs> Whatever it takes, Doc. <laughs> <laughs> right. If you if you ain't cheating, you ain't trying, right? <laughs> Yo, before you go, bro, what can you tell That's me about that crazy. showcase? Uh, right. <laughs> what, tell me about that showcase hosted by Nisi Nash and the late Chad uh, Wick Bozeman uh, and how Bozeman impacted Ooh. your career as a, as an actor. Yeah. Um, first off, um, shout out to uh, Nisi Nash, who has supported me from the start. Um, she told me, she said, when she heard the song, she said, are you ready? And uh, she's, and I'm looking at her, she's got tears in her eyes, and she says, buckle up. And I felt like this connection, you're a man of God, so you know what I'm talking about when you make those divine connections. Um, but, you know, even at the event, uh, Andra Day, who I'm proud of for her success, and, and my brother Chadwick was there. Now, Chadwick was coming to... 
support me, but also to make sure that I did the dance moves that he taught me for, uh, I had some James Brown moves that I do on one of my songs called My Future. And, uh, you know, Chadwick uh, taught me some of those moves for that. But God rest his soul, man, that's a champion. So this song goes to the living and the, and the ones that have transitioned on to glory. And, you know, speaking of NAACP honoring Chad in this book, man, this was mighty. They sent yeah. me a, 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 a pre-cap. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Advanced copy. That's how you know you VIP, right. man. Look, <laughs> brother, I'm so proud of you. I'm so proud of what you did as Curtis, Curtis Mayfield and Genius Aretha. I'm so proud of how you're growing as an actor. I'm so proud that the song has all the legs and longevity that you deserve. It is an honor, bro. Make sure you come back here at, uh, at, at Black News tonight. And I promise you, I promise you, even though you're alpha, we'll let you in. Family, <laughs> that's going to be it for Black Thank News you. tonight. <laughs> that's going to be it for Black News tonight. When y'all come back, y'all going to see the goodbye symbol. But I want to end with my dear brother, Major, because he is black excellence. That is our final thought. God bless you. you Wishing you peace, love, and justice. Yo to the news.